The world of art has plenty of secrets. But this one, the one surrounding the paintings of Maud Lewis, the much lauded, some would say unlikely darling of folk art, is increasingly under scrutiny. You see, these days, distinguishing folk from fake has become a tale of some intrigue. Normally she painted on beaver board. Ian Muncaster of the Zwickers Gallery in Halifax is an expert on Maud Lewis's work. Of late, he says he sees forgeries of her work almost every other week. Some are coming in from Hungary um, through the United States, and, and they're really well done. Whoever is producing them in Hungary has been uh, uh, well coached on. This is international forgery? Yeah, that's right. Wow. You know, where there's a dollar to be made, um, people will do it. How many fakes are out there? That's a highly intelligent question, which I don't have a very intelligent answer. <laughs> I would think, probably, there are hundreds, maybe actually nudging into the thousands of, of uh, forgeries now. Well, I was born in 1903. 1903. So, wide-scale forgery, huh? It all seems such a far cry from Maud Lewis's simple existence, her brightly colored scenes. The thing is, her cheery artwork belies what was her own life of isolation and squalor. I just have to make my own designs up. In a tiny house, not much more than a shed, really, with no plumbing, she painted rural scenes on thousands of scraps of wood with leftover house paints, even painting the house itself. Her severe rheumatoid arthritis worsening with each brush stroke. I've got a bit of brush in front of me, I'm all right. People would come to the house and buy her paintings. Her husband, Everett, a fish peddler and a real rough character, took the money. That's why I say a man should be boss of his wife. <laughs> Some bought Maud's art with pride. Others did it out of pity. A lot of people felt sorry for her. I've been told that by a number of people that uh, they would buy a painting from her for a couple of dollars, but I wasn't going to hang that. And I put it in the furnace, you know. Still, her notoriety grew, and then, years after her death, along came Hollywood. Who told you you could paint fairies on the wall? I think it looks all right. This is the Maud Lewis Black Truck Painting. Which may explain why just last year, her black truck painting, reportedly once traded for a grilled cheese sandwich, fetched $350,000. We sold it. Well done. Justin, very exciting. That's when the forgers really came out of the woodwork. I really love the gripping of oxen. I love the way that she takes a subject and just repeats it. Sarah Moore Fillmore is the director and CEO of the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia, home now to a huge Maud Lewis exhibit. She understands why there's a temptation to forge. It's a very um, well-defined brand. It's a painting that looks exactly like what it proposes to be, and it's a repeatable image so people can get what they are looking for, like a Warhol. If you think about Warhol and the way that those pictures kind of represent a certain look, but Maud Lewis does look like you can like knock it off, like no problem. But what she does is very hard to replicate. So just imagine the embarrassment when a couple of the fake Maud Lewis paintings were recently discovered hanging proudly in the Premier's office. Someone got duped along the way? Yeah. Do you ever wonder or worry there may be a, a forged piece on the walls here? Well, we certainly do a lot of research to make sure that that isn't the case. Now, when people in Nova Scotia talk Maud Lewis forgery, they often think of this man, fellow folk artist and Lewis family friend, Fred Trask. He's long been accused of forgery, so we asked him. How do you feel about people who forge Maude Lewis? Well, I think it's terrible, and, and uh, I, I don't do it myself because I, I, I'm happy some, to paint her picture. But some people no. will say you have forged Maud Lewis artwork. Well, they'll say it because they, one copies what the other one says. You know. But have you done it? No. You've I, never forged a Maude Lewis? No, I, I actually had an investigation by the RCMP. A denial. But Trask admits he's watched other people forging Maud Lewis years ago. The faking of Maud Lewis paintings has been around for a long time. Yes. 
Oh, oh, yeah, same as uh, Van Gogh's or Picasso's or, you know. What do you think Maude would make of all of this, all of this forgery? Huh. I don't think she'd understand. And so what about that Maude Lewis painting back at Zwicker's gallery? Ian Muncaster has seen enough. It may say Maude Lewis, but it, it's, it's not by Maude. It, this is um, a fake? Quite, quite clearly by her husband, yes. By her husband? And by her husband, Everett, yes. After she died, he thought, well, I can do that sort of thing. The trees are wrong. The sky is wrong. The oxen are wrong. What's wrong about them? Uh, they're just... Uh, Maud's uh, treatment of, of trees was quite different. And so it goes. Proof, as they say in the art world, that every artist's signature is actually in the painting itself. And in this case of this Maud Lewis knockoff, yet more evidence of just how close to home a fake can be. It's a mystery, Tom. I, I, I gather there are some big hurdles when it comes to deciphering, you know, folk from fake. And one of them has to be how much she did. It's so true. I mean, she was prolific. She would have said to would have painted at least one a day, 300 days a year, and she painted for three decades, so that's 10,000 paintings by my math. And the thinking is that there are a lot of addicts in Digby County, Nova Scotia, where she lived, that still have a Maude Lewis stashed away in the corner. And I tell you, people might want to go rummaging through there because I saw one online the other day for sale, asking price $56,000. Not bad. No kidding. Uh, many of her paintings also look like so many of her others. Yeah, contributing to the confusion around the forgeries out there, of course, Maude Lewis was a serial painter, so she would paint very similar images, like the cats and the oxen, over and over again. So people will think, hey, that's a forged painting because I've seen that image before. But that's not always the case, which I guess kind of underlines the point that Maude Lewis' simple art, as it's been called, isn't all that simple anymore, Adrian. All right, Tom Murphy in Halifax, thank you. Thank you.